Hi, it's Simon again, the Fellside Boy. Today is Good Friday and in preparation for Easter Sunday we are going to make or prepare some Pace Eggs. Now I think this is a Cumbrian tradition. I'm not sure how wide it spreads to be honest but uh, certainly it's well known in the Cumbria area where we prepare basically hard boiled eggs but with a twist and then on Easter day we'll have a little bit of a competition with them where we have a what we call an egg dumping competition. Um, it's quite good fun, it's good crack. Uh, I'll show you, I'm going to do this film in two parts. So the first part is us preparing the eggs and then I'll have a second film now. I'll show you a bit of the egg dumping competition on Easter day. So what do we need? Well we need eggs obviously, just about the eggs. Um, it's important the eggs have really good shells. Firstly they've got to withstand a long boiling process and secondly if they've got good quality shells they are more likely to win the egg dumping competition when that takes place. So I've been to um, one of the little traditional shops and got some free range eggs so hopefully they're good quality shells there. Gives me a chance of winning the egg dumping competition hopefully. What else do we need? Well we need onion skins, lots of onion skins. We need some string. We need some foliage, leaves, flowers, whatever. We need a little <laughs> bowl of water which will be useful. And then we need some newspaper. I'm going to make one of the eggs, just an example, show you what to do, then we'll get the rest of them ready, get them boiling in the pan, and we'll see the results later. So, just get a sheet of newspaper, prepare that ready. I've got a piece of string ready cut. So I take an egg carefully, and then we'll take some of the green foliage. Can be anything. This just helps make the patterns and makes uh, nice patterns on the eggs once they're done. So I'll put a few bits of foliage, leaves and things like that on here. Dip them in the water so it helps stick them on the egg. Maybe a bit of a long stringy bit as well. So I'm just going to wrap a few of those around the egg as such. And then we get some onion skin. And now that all starts to go in the onion skin. So we try and cover it pretty much with some onion skins, yeah? Let's we'll see why we use the onion skins later. Basically it's to, when we boil it for a long time, the colour, this brown colour comes out of the onion skins and will help pattern the eggs, yeah? So we've got a few onion skins there. And then we're just going to Gently wrap that in the newspaper. And then just to keep that in place, we'll just put a string around it. A little knot to hold the string in place. There, put it in the pan. So I'm going to continue now, repeat the same. I think we're going to do about eight eggs or so uh, in preparation for the Easter Sunday egg dumping competition. So I'll crack on with that and then we'll show you the results later. We spent the last half an hour or so continuing with the same process of getting the pace eggs ready and wrapped. And Charlotte's been helping me and we've got the eighth one. They're all in the pan ready to go now. So next couple of things to do. We've got some onion skins left over. We're going to put those in there too. And then these are the stalks of all the onions that we cut up. So we're just going to put them in as well. And 
Um, just boiled the kettle about five minutes ago, so I'm just going to slowly pour the water into the pan. Just to the point where we cover all the eggs and things. So once we've got all the water in, we're going to bring it to the boil and then we're going to let it simmer for about three hours. While it's simmering, the colour, the dye, will, well the colour will come out of the onions and will start to dye the eggs and everything else in there. It's important while it's simmering away that you keep checking it and don't let it boil dry. So keep every 15 minutes, check it, top it up as required. Now the, as the water soaks into the newspaper and into the eggs, these will sink down into there. One last thing, secret ingredient, a little bit of malt vinegar, which is just going to harden them shells up so I win that competition on Sunday. He is hoping, eh? So I'll keep an eye on them, bring it up to the boil, and then they're just going to simmer there for the next three hours or so, and then we'll have a look at the eggs later. Alright. Okay. So the eggs have been boiling, simmering away now for about an hour and we'll just have a little check on them. So you can see, simmering away there, if I get a little bit of the water out now you can see it's a rich brown colour, not dissimilar to tea looking colour. So that brown tea like water is going to dye the eggs and hopefully at the end of the day we should have nice brown patterned eggs. We'll see you later. Right, we'll leave it to it. So we've allowed the paste eggs to boil for three hours and simmer and then we've allowed it to cool and now we're going to have a look and see uh, what we've produced. So have a look in there, see how deep dark brown that is. Just going to get rid of the water first. Dark brown type colour, like strong tea. Okay, I'll do for now. Right, so we're going to get something just to put all the waste. eggs out now, the paste eggs, have a look at them and um, it's funny I couldn't find any egg cups, well I could find a couple of egg cups but I could find some shot glasses, it says a lot about our house we've got more shot glasses than egg cups but we'll, we'll take them out one at a time and just see what they look like. Oh it's like Christmas this isn't it? I see Charlotte thinks that too. So we'll just snip the string Take off all this debris. So the onion skins, and you can see now, you can see all those bits of um, foliage, green foliage and things, you can see that leaves patterns because that's protected it from the, yeah, you see you've got a little picture of a flower there and the leaves and things. And there's a little white dry. Yeah, and that's what a pace egg looks like when it's done, yeah. Just it basically puts a nice pretty pattern on it. You can see the leaves and the grass and the foliage just leaves patterns on it there, yeah? Let's put that one up in there. Get another one. It's 
snip the string, take off. Oh, what a beautiful colour that is. Yeah, little sprinkle of water. And dry it again. Oh, these are great. These have really come out well. Yeah, beautiful. Pace egg. It's a sort of marbly type effect, I suppose, but uh, they, you can just about pick out images of the... Even the light, Charlotte. <laughs> just about pick out the images of the... The leaves and the foliage there, yeah. Okay. Right, I'm going to continue, get these out, and I'll come back to back to the filming for the last one, and then we'll have a look what we've got. Okay. Okay, so we've got a couple more to get out. We'll just so you can see, one of the eggs has cracked. This can often happen during the long boiling process, particularly if it's got a flaw in the shell or anything. So it's not unusual to, to lose a couple, so I'll have that one for dinner later. Last one then. Just take the newspaper, onion skins, foliage off. That looks fine. A little sprinkle under the tap. decided to put the eggs in the little dish there so you can see them a little bit more clearly but there we have it seven pace eggs ready for egg dumping competition on Easter Sunday so there you have it the pace eggs ready for the egg dumping competition on Easter Sunday if you tune into our channel again shortly you can see that egg dumping competition in action. That's gone really well. Pleased with that. Bye for now. Don't forget to like, comment and subscribe if you want to see more. Cheers.